back in this motherfucker, man. So what's that? That's two dollars now. I just made it. You did? Yes, dude. Oh, that's two dollars. Yeah, it. it's a dollar, honey. Let's get damn. You suck. I should have quit when I had. You should have quit. Yeah, I should have quit when I had. Three. Y'all know we quit. <laughs> What's up guys? I know it's been a while since I've made a vlog. I know, it's been probably about a month, month and a half. But, it's just because I haven't been doing anything. I just got a second job um, at a restaurant waiting tables, so I've been really busy. And I can't really vlog over there, plus it's not really interesting, so I doubt you'd want to see it. Um, but today I work 4 to 10 uh, at finish line. I have to go to Reset STL, which is a uh, resale shop downtown. I'm gonna try and sell the Supreme Breathalyzer. I kept it dead stock just because for one, I don't drink, and two, um, I thought the resale was gonna be a lot higher than it is, but it's it's just not. So I'm gonna try and sell this, maybe buy something from there. I'm for sure gonna play the Keymaster, uh, for sure. At least gonna put in about 10 to 15 in there. Um, so we're gonna do that. I have a huge unboxing for you guys. Like, so huge, I have a case here to keep it dead stock uh just because man like i've been wanting this pair of shoes for a long time my absolute grail in my collection right now is the yeezy red stripe also my most expensive shoe i have bought so far um i spent 600 dollars on this shoe uh brand new will cost you about 1100 to a thousand dollars uh on StockX to get this shoe in this colorway now, if it's one of the most expensive V2s, if not the most expensive. Um, it's definitely my favorite. The red, the black, it matches with everything, and the red is just a statement, basically. Definitely my favorite shoe that I own. Next, we have the OG human being, human race, the blue colorway. Um, this I got for $450. Uh, brand new, will go for about $1,100 to about 1000 Same price as the Yeezy. This is the OG colorway. You can see it has the flat sole. Um, this was one of my grails whenever I started collecting. Glad to finally have it. I got this from SneakerCon. If you guys have seen my SneakerCon video, you've probably seen a lot of these shoes. But here's the OG Human Race. This edition is the French Beige NMD R1. Uh, this restocked a lot uh, whenever it first came out back in 2015. It might have been 2016. Uh, but it has the French uh, brand with three stripes right there on the front brick And it's also got on the back tab. It's got all the brand and three stripes and all the different lengths uh, It's a brown shoe matched with everything. I had whenever I bought this I went ahead and sold my ultra boost Lux uh, Just because I had too many brown shoes. I had these as well as the creams So I, should... I got this shoe at sneaker con uh, I think 360 uh, not my favorite shoe comfort wise, but look wise this shoe is insane I've also done my reviews and everything on this shoe, so you guys have seen this shoe if you've seen my other videos. So there's the Alpha Edge. Pink Pharrell Holly Human Race. Uh, these are the India edition. These aren't, these weren't exclusive to India. These restocked in Chicago, uh, I believe twice. Uh, but I have the flip-flop laces laced up in the front and the back. Uh, this is the only Human Race that has a mixed brick uh, color. It's got the pink and the purple in there, so I figured with the pink and the purple, may as well have the white and the purple. I just like the way the laces look. But there's this one. This is like my beater. You can see the sole is different from my other one. This is just the trail sole. Uh, they're doing these in a lot of the newest human races, uh, but it makes them so heavy. So heavy, but uh, they're pretty comfortable. Uh, I like to wear these just because a lot of people look at them. Uh, they definitely catch some eyes, and I just really like the way the... Uh, the uh, Hindi looks on that shoe. And next we have the SNS Datamosh NMD. Uh, this is the blue colorway. They have a, also a red Gucci colorway. Um, I like this one the most. Um, whenever I've got this shoe probably about a year and a half ago maybe. Um, I bought it used for 250. I put the uh, SNS project uh, laces on it to add a little bit more pop to it. Uh, so it's got that gray and it's also 3M so adds a little bit to it. These had a crazy release, uh, different from any other shoe, uh, especially Adidas has done. Uh, I didn't go for it on release, so I don't really, I just remember hearing Teddy, uh, Boost God, uh, say how 
these had a crazy release. You had to do a whole bunch of stuff to get them, uh, to even have a chance at getting them. Uh, but I don't know why. I'm gonna have the red pair coming pretty soon. Then I have the SNS Project NMD. You guys have seen this. Uh, I bought this because it was discontinued. I never thought they were gonna release again. But the joke was on me because they ended up releasing an Adidas, SNS, uh, both stores, and they ended up going on sale at both stores. So uh, they might have sold out on Adidas. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I know they're still sitting on uh, SNS for like 150. So uh, reflective bricks, my only shoe with the reflective bricks, and it came with three sets of laces: a white, a gray, and a light gray. Uh, I like this shoe. A lot of people sleep on this shoe. I like it a lot. Also came with a blue colorway, but I had too many blue shoes too, so I wasn't even gonna fuck with it. Next, we have my least favorite shoe in my collection: the Bait EQT 9616. Uh, this is the glow in the dark colorway, and really the only reason I bought it was because one I don't have any shoes in this style uh, It has the ultra boost uh, Midsole basically Sam out of boost uh, with an EQT upper uh, Compared to a regular EQT that we're normally used to seeing a 96 17 uh, with all the boost you can just you can just tell There's so much more boost in it. This is the reflective colorway, and this is the glow in the dark colorway uh, both of them had the same footprint pattern, or like skeleton print pattern on the toe box. Uh, the laces on these pop so much. Like I'll just be walking and they'll just, they'll reflect whenever there's not even light around. It's insane. Uh, also, this is the Prime Knit uh, EQT. There's not a lot of Prime Knit EQTs. Next level comfortable. Next level comfortable. It's insane. These on the other hand, not so much. This uh, heel cup is super stiff and you can just feel it in your heel. And it, it's just not as comfortable. I don't like to wear these. Plus it's all white with a white bottom, so it's gonna get super dirty, so I just stay away from them. We're gonna go with the Ultra Boosts uh, collection. Got a couple. Uh, first off, my second favorite Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost Cream. These are rumored to be restocking in November. Um, I don't know if it's just gonna be a consortium, or if it's gonna be like a vault shoe uh, that they released, just like the multicolors recently. Um, they opened the vault, or whatever the fuck they said. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna be like that, because if it is, it's gonna be like the, the exact shoe it's gonna release everywhere, it's gonna release on Adidas. But I also heard that uh, the Cream, the Multicolor 1.0, and the uh, Chinese New Year 1.0 were all gonna be consortium releases, but like I said, they could be a vault release and they'll release everywhere. But hopefully it's just consortiums, so they're still hard to get and I won't lose all the value in my pair. But uh, I wore these to Chicago, um, I bought these at SneakerCon, not SneakerCon, Sneaker Summit in uh, Houston years ago, probably two years ago. Um, and it's still in my collection today, so that shows how much I like it. It's at SneakerCon, the Solar Red 1.0. Um, not much to say about this shoe other than it's super red. <laughs> I mean, I got a dead stock at SneakerCon for 260 or 270 I don't remember the exact price, but it was a really good price, uh, considering it was dead stock. Uh, and that was before the Continental Soul. So it's just the regular Ultra Boost Soul before the Continental. Um, that one is my second favorite out of the Solar Pack. Uh, this one is my favorite out of the Solar Pack, the Solar Yellow, just because I love how it has the separate colored black stripes. It contrasts perfectly with the uh, yellow, and it looks perfect with the black stitched in. And the heel cup, black heel cup, it's just, it's a really dope shoe. It's such a loud color, and it's just going to attract attention. People are going to look at them, and you're going to catch yourself looking at them a lot. It looks like a beehive or something on your foot. It's crazy. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Ultra Boosts, but my favorite Ultra Boost out of any Ultra Boost is the Ultra Boost 1.0 Reflective Colorway, the 3M. Uh, I have the... Soulbox EQT, Soulbox Ultra Boost Mid uh, laces on there. It's got the red lace tips as well as the uh, 3M laces. And since this shoe is entirely 3M already, it's just super reflective. Uh, taking pictures of it, it, it's a dope shoe. That's all I gotta say. It's a dope shoe. Uh, I got these for 330 on Goat. Uh, they're pretty badly uh, beat, I guess need to clean them up. I really just need to double up on them because this is my favorite Ultra Boost. I just need to get a brand new pair and run these into the ground. Next, I have the Kith Ultra Boost Mid. It's the only Ultra Boost Mid I have in my collection right now. Uh, I used to have the Soulbox Mid, obviously, because I have the Lace Swap, but here it is. This is the only shoe I have with Black Boost, and it has the Trail Sole on the bottom. 
Uh, so yeah, a lot of extra grip. I wish this was all terrain, like they made a lot of the mids uh, with the water and snow resistance, but unfortunately they didn't. Uh, on this pair, they have flip-flop patchwork. They said every shoe was different, but not every shoe is different. Uh, pretty much every one is the same, uh, but they're both of these are different. And it's got the 3M back tab, and it's almost like a chameleon 3M. Uh, it has like the green and blue look in it. And what I have on feet is just my beater, but uh, it's the uh, Solar Pink NMD. It's a women's colorway. Uh, I just really like the glitch camo. These came in the store. They were on sale. It was a return at my size. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. Fuck it. I wanted them. So I got a new beater, and it's a prime knit beater. Uh, last but not least, I have my sample uh, Ultra Boost. It's got all the sample tags and everything. You can check that out. It's got a sample on the inside. You more than likely cannot see it, but it's there. But I have the samples. Uh, I'm never gonna wear these. I'm not a fan of the colorway. I was a fan of the price uh, and the fact that I have a sample in my collection now. I feel like that's super cool. Uh, so I get to be like, yeah, man, these never came out and they're never gonna come out and they're super limited. There's probably only like four of these in the world. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I have the sample. reset uh, let's go over what I got so I wanted 60 bucks for my breathalyzer it wasn't dead stock but it passed for dead stock so uh, I mean I used I, I didn't blow on or anything for batteries in it but I took it out of the box uh, but anyway that's besides the point so what I got I wanted 60 bucks uh, they offered me 45 cash 60 in store so I was like okay I'll do 60 in store Played the Keymaster, five bucks, took the L. Go figure. But here's their Instagram. Uh, it's reset underscore STL. Uh, and they gave me this sticker. Uh, I told them I was vlogging, so I think they just wanted me to shout them out, so they gave me their Instagram. But honestly, go check them out. They have a bunch, a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, but they gave me a straight up trade, uh, well, 40 bucks worth uh, with this, the Supreme Jar. Uh, so I don't drink so I wasn't gonna use the breathalyzer, but I smoke a lot of weed So I'll definitely put this to use uh, It says supreme on the jar. It's really nice quality thick glass pretty nice little latch uh, airtight Pretty dope. I wanted this uh, whenever it released, but it actually sold out too fast. I took the L um, There's that me this another supreme bouncy ball. I have one I'm gonna keep this one dead stock just because uh, why not? I actually bought this because I needed more box logo uh, stickers. I got the blood and semen. Uh, I'm gonna put this. I don't know where I'm put this. I'm gonna put this somewhere on my shoe rack uh, on the front, just like I have all my other box logos. Cause I wanna have as many rare box logos as I can. And the blood and semen one was a little bit harder to come by. Fuck you sticker. Uh, I was mad that I didn't get this in my uh, sticker packs. I got two sticker packs with this shirt and didn't even get uh, this sticker, which I was kind of bummed out about, but I got it now. So uh, today's haul, I got the three stickers, the bouncy ball, uh, the jar, um, all for my Supreme breathalyzer that I was never gonna use. And uh, in this, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all my Supreme stickers. I've got the lawn chair, a regular BOGO. These are just uh, uh, from SneakerCon, I just threw those on there. I've got the anatomy, the money, the Madonna, the Reset, yeah, that's not Supreme, another Sneaker Con, BOGO. Oh, I also put the blood and semen uh, right by my creams. Um, Supreme Mona Lisa, another Anatomy, another Sneaker Con, BOGO, and Sneaker Con, and an Apple. I don't know why I put Apple on here, but whatever. Over here, I've got 
Pogo, Sneaker Con, the uh, Don't Let the Dream Die, MLK, Supreme Fuck You, the Supreme, I forgot what collab this was, but it's some artist, uh, the 666 Supreme, the Glow in the Dark Supreme, which this is already going to be glowing, I know it. That's going to be super glowy. Got a Booze God sticker, as well as another Sneaker Con sticker. Supreme, you still suck. Uh, the Fuck the World, and also the Supreme. Uh, I have that one there just because I have that. It makes sense, you know? But anyway, the StockX, regular BOGO, another um, Apple Supreme, and the Transvestite Supreme, whatever. And I have another BOGO. Part of my pizza. I have another BOGO on my soon to be races. Uh, but yeah, those are all my Supreme stickers, and you also, oh, never mind, I have more bugos and stuff over there, I'm just doing random stuff, but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I know that looks tacky, I need to get some dope shit for that. It's your boy, Drew, being here, Champ Certified, you know, rocking with my boys at Champ, I mean, finish line, dicks. Damn, look at that. I don't yeah. think that's in your diet. It's not, but... Yeah, well, I can't wait to go to work and... All right, so it is 4.50, and my human races have just arrived, so... Finally mine. It's lit and finish line. All right, so, uh, Painty came through, uh, with a fucking Supreme shirt. He came through with the Gangsta Supreme, the Life Sucks Die Squirrel thing, chipmunk thing, so I was like, he was like, 50 bucks. I said, alright, fuck it, <laughs> it's my size, I'll buy, I need a Supreme Black shirt anyway, and I liked that one, so I bought it, fuck it. <laughs> alright guys, finally home, finally got the package, and I've been waiting a, like two weeks for this. Alright, so... Bought them two weeks ago, got StockX, ended up being fake. This one, on the other hand, that's a different story. Straight from StockX. Alright. You guys can see that. It says the Holly NMD. Paperwork, authentic card, <laughs> oh my god, the Chinese exclusive human race, only released in certain Adidas original stores in China. Super, super, super stoked to be holding this shoe in my hand, finally. Um, if you guys watched my uh, sneaker con video, uh, you saw this was the one shoe that I wanted. This is the main shoe that I wanted to go get, uh, and I just couldn't get him. Uh, one dude was selling them to me, slightly used for $480. I was not paying that. I got these for $450, brand new. Uh, two months later, almost. Uh, maybe three months later, but uh, here they are, finally in my collection, and uh, they're gonna look really good in here. So and it also comes with the extra red laces, all 3M. I don't know if I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna keep them dead stock, but if I do end up breaking and end up wearing them, I'll probably, I don't know, I'm probably gonna keep the laces like this. I like the white with everything. So yeah, there's the unboxing. <laughs> uh, this is now my third Pharrell, my fourth one I've ever owned. Uh, this one's for sure my most limited, uh, not my most expensive. The one I have on my feet is the most expensive, but uh, this is a rarest, only released in China. Uh, didn't even have to get a plane ticket. Honestly, buying a plane ticket to China to try and get these for retail uh, would have cost you just as much to get them. Like, it was probably more expensive just to uh, do that than to just go on StockX and buy them. So, 
if you're from the states it's better just to buy them straight out uh, all the other colors are going for around 400 to 430 uh, depending on what size you are this one is the most expensive pair it's the most sought after pair um, but yeah here they are beautiful 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 all right well that pretty much concludes the vlog uh, hopefully you guys liked it i tried to make it a little bit more entertaining i did a little bit more uh, got to go to the resale shop and everything um, but this was mainly what i wanted to put out for you guys just the unboxing of these beauties so um yeah i hope you guys enjoy uh, i'll catch you guys later and you already know i'll be copping a lot more because i'm trying to be the booze god out there so peace out guys